In this uh, Blender tutorial, we're going to make a soccer ball. So if I take a look at this in edit view, looks like this. It's got some het pentagons and hexagons. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to first make a mesh icosphere. Uh, if you don't see this down here, make sure it says one, right? I think usually is a two, so make sure it says one. Then we're going to go to edit mode and we're going to subdivide these edges. So I'm going to subdivide and I'm going to click two on this. So we have some more edges. Okay. Next thing is I like to flatten these uh, points over here, uh, these vertices. So I'm in vertex mode. I'm going to hold shift and select all the vertices. So rotate around. And I think I got that one. Maybe a couple more right here. And might have them all almost. So I think I do have them. Okay. Uh, so we're going to flatten this. I'm going to move away a little bit from this. I'm going to do Alt S. And then you see you're able to flatten those. So just do it by eye. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Uh, we still want some more surfaces here, polygons. So I'm gonna press tab. I'm gonna go out and, uh, to object mode. I'm gonna go to a modifier here. And this is a subdivision surface modifier. We're going to just uh, leave everything alone and apply. So when I go back and I press tab, you see we have some more uh, polygons. Now I have my uh, pentagon vertices still selected, right? So that was good because what I like to do is I like to extrude them. Uh, I'm going to uh, click Control plus to select some uh, points. Uh, see? Uh, to select some more points around them. So you see now you see the pentagons we see the hexagons over here. So that was control plus and it was just uh, propagated uh, out and selected those points. So to extrude uh, is just a couple of steps. First thing you do, you press E, enter, Alt S. Alt S lets you extrude along the normal. And I'm gonna type in, oops, I'm gonna type in a number and I'll do it by I, 0.07, enter. So you see there is, uh, so that was pretty easy. I'm going to Alt A to deselect. Uh, the next thing are the next are the hexagons. So the hexagons is pretty much the same procedure. I'm going to select the point. I'm going to do one, but you can do two or three or more at the same time. The thing is, they can't be next to each other. Uh, so, for instance, I'm going to select Alt. I'm just going to do here two right here. See those two vertices? They're not next. I'm going to do Control Plus Plus, and there it goes. Right. Uh, the same thing again, I'll press E, Enter, Alt, S, and that allows me to put in 0 .07, uh, Alt, A to deselect. So you just have to uh, now uh, go and do all the others the same way. One thing you got to be careful, always check around after you do one of these uh, extrusions is to make sure you didn't do one twice, you know, like for instance, selected this and then extruded it uh, uh, twice. Okay, so just be careful, take a look around. Okay, so all of these are done. And it looks like I didn't make any mistakes either. So now I'm gonna press tab and I want to smooth this out a little bit. So I'm gonna go to object and I'm gonna say shade smooth. And that gives it uh, more of a shape of a saga ball now. All right, so we're not going to get too fancy here, but I would like to add a color to this. So if you go uh, to the materials tab down here, and there's a default color already. If you want to change that, well, let's rename it. I'm going to rename this uh, uh, M1, material one. And I'm going to preview it. And down here, you could we have some settings. So for instance, I could choose a different color for this object, right? Uh, there's also 
uh, <laughs> something a specular, which is kind of like a shine. You see, it's more shiny, less shiny. Uh, it's really not a metallic object, but you can add some metallic look to it, right? 